We're talking about mobile apps for enterprise. How do you build those? And how do you build particularly messaging infrastructure that can handle uh, marketing departments sending messages to customers on their mobile phones or collecting data and messaging that back to a database? Well, we're gonna talk to Motwin, who is gonna show us how to do that. They built a kit for Eclipse and for uh, iOS Ob Objective-C uh, to build these kinds of apps. Thank you. Who are you? Hi, my name is Pascal Jelon. I'm a VP Product Management with Motwin. Um, came to the US in 98 for a startup from France to, to here. Uh, since then, I worked with several startups and very much enjoy being in the Valley. Very cool. And so this is, uh, Motwin is a developer SDK basically that helps you build iOS, Android apps, and specifically messaging style apps. Is that true? That's right. Motwin is really a platform to build what we call a sophisticated mobile application. And by sophisticated, what we mean is a mobile application that not are just like just your casual games. We are not competing with a, a, a Angry Bird or, or Path or Instagram. We are trying to help developers to provide developers uh, with the platforms and tools to build again sophisticated applications. Meaning that we believe that at Motwin, uh, the next generation of apps will be more personalized. Uh, you will have to bring like a real value to the, the user, and we uh, bring this platform to help developer build this type of applications. So uh, this pl platform is not just code that goes into Eclipse or into the Objective-C uh, system, but it's what? The Xcode system, so, I mean. So what's specific uh, to Motwin is that you build uh, your application in with this uh, two-tier uh, model where you have a part that resides on the, on the mobile, so it's your typical mobile application, but you also have a large part that resides on the server side. Actually, the ratio is pretty much 30% mobile, 70% server side. Which means that when, uh, as, a, as a customer, you want to develop for multiple uh, OS, multiple mobiles, uh, having a large part on the server side is a big plus because it's easier to manage. You have the, the business logic that runs for all those devices and you can change the logic without having to touch what's going on on the, the mobile. You don't have to redeploy your apps. Very important. At the same time, because we are uh, on, on the server side here, we have an easier access to other services like your backend, your web services. So since we believe that you know, the next generation of mobile application will be very much personalized, context aware, as Gardner said, uh, it, we are the right place here to grab this context, put it together, and grab even the context from the mobile side, your location, what you're doing in your app, put it together and, and, and come back to you with something even more personalized and you know, a real uh, added value service. Yeah, so if I'm a developer at PATH, I, I've probably already built that messaging infrastructure, right? To be able to send Rocky a message or comment on a social, uh, social feed or uh, get messages from PATH or whatnot. So uh, you're aiming at enterprises who probably need, need to reduce the amount of development time, don't have the Correct. development team to build all those Correct. pieces out. Right? Even if they don't have the right expertise, it's pretty hard right now to find the right developers to develop on mobile. Again, because we're on the server side, a large part of the business logic is developed server side. You can leverage your internal expertise, your Java developers, to build this big piece that will handle actually your future mobile applications uh, to speed up the process. If I have an enterprise like Rackspace is 4,000 people, if I'm deploying a mobile app to 4,000 people, what, what should I expect to pay for Motwin? In the 100,000 of, of, of dollars, uh, we, are, we have a pricing per active users, yeah. uh, it's, then you have a plateau, the typical pricing model. Uh, we would have to look at the details to come up with the right number. And how does it hook up to the back ends? Is because, you know, let's say I was building a Rackspace system, I probably have MySQL or Oracle or something. Your CRM, your yeah, e commerce Yeah, and I want to talk to the, yeah. right, so, so as I'm walking around getting sales data or whatever. We, we, have, we have several connectors, some connector APIs that you can use actually to bring your content into what we call the unified database. So, and so you can have several feeds coming from several uh, systems and they will be aggregated even if you have some feeds that will bring data very quickly and some will be very slow some will be broken but that doesn't matter we unified all those views in one place in in the in this middle tier and we'll make this information available to the mobile users
Yeah. What's the competitive landscape for you like? Uh, you know, is it is it that developer who's going to build it all on himself? Is that the yeah, competition? Yeah, definitely. Or? Like uh, you know, IT itself, the IT department is is, uh, is is kind of like competing with us. At the same time, we hope that we can help them in the in the future, and we do that already with our customers. Uh, also, we see like other uh, company that are providing uh, perhaps. Uh, functionality that are more like a niche and, and uh, that's part of what we, we bring. We, we want to believe that what we are offering is really an end-to-end -end platform. So we, we do the, the, the push, we do the backend connection, we do the, the cache man management. With our cache management capability typically, when you turn your application on, without doing anything as a developer, if you are uh, without any connectivity, you will have access to your content, the last one that you see you, you saw before. So it's a big plus, and it's this kind of like technical challenges that we are solving for the developers that you don't have to re to, to, re to solve again. That's Very cool. I bet there's lots of facts on, on your site for developers to yeah. figure out what it does, right? Uh, absolutely. We just released actually uh, Motwin 3.0 uh, last month. Uh, our website is uh, www.motwin.com. Uh, we have white paper on context aware application we have a white paper on the mobile application the mobile platform that's coming up uh, next week so please come to our website and you'll get all the information you need very cool thank you for coming in and showing it to me hey thank you Robert